to my my episode three of Dodgy Dining, and I think uh, it's the perfect time for Lata Hopeless to finally join us. Yes, and you guys got me to the coolest spot. <laughs> We came here in a cool way. We, yeah. uh, we arrived in style with some yeah. security and we heard the food is very traditional. Yes, we've got someone who's specifically uh, preparing a nice lunch uh, for us. How it works is we, of course, give them points. Each category out of five with a total score of 20. Yeah. Eventually, we'll crown the dodgiest dining place. Let's go. Okay, so apparently, and I'm to be corrected, yeah, yeah. Here, we're not allowed on the other side firstly. Okay, so what is on the other side? So that's an actual hostel, so people okay. live there. Um, and this apparently only used to be a place where they used to sell traditional medicine. Like Muti. Muti has very negative connotations. Okay, like, okay, okay. Like you're lowering someone. It's not necessarily always. Okay, so it's traditional medicine. Traditional medicine. So this place pops on the weekend. It's really? like a spot that people come to. The food is absolutely amazing. If you are into the traditional yeah. healing sense of things, yeah. this is a place to apparently come. And the Nyangas are on that side. You're not allowed to film there. So I heard they also sell traditional clothes. Is that true? Like at the market? Yes. Where they sell traditional medicine? Um, I've never been. And I hope we can go after we eat uh, and have a look. But yes, apparently they sell like traditional attire. If yes. you're getting married, this is where you like, you'll go to find like a proper yeah. Zulu attire. So this is taking it back to the roots. It's like a one-stop shop, if you will. And if you live here, even better. Oh, it's looking good. I reckon these ladies could bribe better than any guy in South Africa. Definitely better than you. That's not hard. This is actually very cool. This is, I love this. Also, it shows you different parts of Joburg that people never get to see. And actually, maybe changes people's perceptions and minds. Oh my gosh, oh, this is exciting. There goes my diet. To we pray? Lado, you got this. Lord Jesus, thank you very much for the food that you're about to eat. Bless the hands that made them, amen. 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 Oh, and shoes, oh my God. Oh my gosh, bless you. I feel so sorry for the man behind the camera because, wow. <laughs> Have you tasted the Perry Penny sauce yet? Yes. It's a one, eh? Mmm, that's the liver. Good? It's the best liver I've eaten in my life. In your life? In my that's life. No, in my life. Yeah. Woo! Damn, that's good. Love. It's made, it's made with love. I've never had sauce like this anywhere. Mm -hmm. So good. <laughs> Dodgy dining at Wamai Mai. Um, of course, based on three categories the dodginess, the decor, and the food. Dodginess, an absolute five out of five. This is the epitome of dodgy dining. This is what we look for when we're looking for dodgy dining places. And uh, for that reason, I've given it a five out of five. So, this is my dodgy dining, and I'm so glad that Tano and Alex invited me to the most famous spot in Joburg. My score for Kwa Mai Mai, dodgy, it's a five out of five because it is dodgier than I ever expected it to be. Dodginess, I'm with Tano and Larato. Uh, five out of five. This is as dodgy as it gets. Not in a bad way, but I suppose it also helps if we had two massive security guards helping us. But it, it's dodgy. That was the whole point, right? Deco, they put little doily keys on the table. I love the fact that we have a place to sit that covers so we're not sitting in the sun. Um, there's signage everywhere letting you know where you are. So they put in a little bit of effort. So I'm going to give them a three out of five. The deco gave it a three out of five. I think it can improve just a little bit with the tables and the tablecloth as well. So there's room for improvement there. I gave it a two out of five. Um, I reckon I'm a bit of a germaphobe, so I reckon, I know they've got a lot going on, but if the ladies could control the amount of litter that was here, it would make it a little bit better. That is the only thing that I'd mark the down. Uh, lastly, the food. Undoubtedly the best buy I've had possibly in my life. So, 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh, the worst. 
That was really got me. It was delicious. I actually want to say it's the best boss I've ever, ever tasted in my life. So food, 10 out of 10, giving us a total score of 18 out of 20. It was delicious. I marked a 9 out of 10. The food was the best that we've tasted so far. The food that I made a 9 out of 10 is because I tried to buy the peri-peri sauce and I just didn't want to let me buy it. Oh, come on. Come on. I wanted to buy the peri-peri oh, sauce. Oh, come on. correct. Yes. Hater. All right, I'll change it to 10 out of 10, damn it. I want that peri-peri sauce. All right, either way, my total goes to 17. Bye, my, my. Well done. How was that experience for you? Uh, so far, so good. Uh, okay. I think we managed okay, except the guy in front was getting very angry with us. Yeah. Talking too much. No, he, so he was angry, obviously, because we're shooting, mm. but we made sure not to shoot him. Yes. But I think this was a proper, like, firstly, Lerato was saying, you're hood, but you go really hood. Yeah, I was like a say, warrior kind of hood. You went like full, like, like when somebody was like, they left like five rand, right? Tell them they killed someone for five rand. No, no, I nearly killed the taxi driver kill for five rand. No, 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 you just asked for what is right for yours, yeah, right? Yeah, but everybody ignored her, and yeah. then she started getting a little bit more, hey, give me yeah. my five yeah, rand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think more than anything, this was just um, a reminder of how privileged we are. Absolutely. I literally said to Lerato in the yeah. car on the way out, so when you look outside and you go into town, you realize, are we, we really do live in a first world part yeah. of Joburg mm. and you can't even realize how some people are still living. Yeah, uh, and it's a state of, uh, state of affairs. Hopefully we'll see that change in South Africa. Okay. Okay. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Okay, okay let's, let's go. go. Dodgy Diners on 947 Drive with Dundell.